At the Ancobra River estuary in southwest Ghana, fishing communities rely largely on mangoes for firewood, their main source of fuel for processing fish. But experts say the incessant felling of mangroves has led to a decline in mangrove forest and fish habitats. We used to cut the mangroves where that place uh, become like a park. So the sun will uh, shine on it and that place will be very hard. And I think the fish cannot get into that point. Environmentalists say mangroves, soil tolerant trees and shrubs that live in coastal areas are important for the environment capturing about four times more carbon than other trees and helping to protect the land against erosion and flooding. Globally, they make up less than 1% of all tropical forests and they are threatened by over-exploitation and infrastructure development, according to a report by the World Atlas of Mangroves. In Ghana, the non-profit group Yen Puano says multiple changes in the last decade are making mangroves even more vulnerable. One is when Ghana discovered the oil and oil and gas and through a development there are a lot of infrastructure development going on along this area that is one there's also what we call the galamse the illegal mining activity in the area and this is polluting a lot of the river bodies to help the community is raising mangrove seedlings and replanting them in degraded areas they aim to plant 200,000 trees this year and get the area classified as a conservation reserve the main goal of the project or the program is to actually uh, formalize the management of the Greater Manzule area by putting it under a biosphere reserve. So we realize that there are a lot of endangered species within this area, and also this area serves as the main source of livelihood for the communities. To achieve this, the Ghana Forestry Commission and the non-profit group have developed a resource management approach called Prima. The plan calls for community training on sustainability and providing it with some power to police their own resources. The state agencies cannot be everywhere, every time. But the communities are there. They stay with the resource, they live with the resource, they benefit from the resource. The Great Amanzu Wetlands is the only pristine wetland on the western coast of Ghana, according to a US aid report. Communities in those areas hope to develop sustainable uses of the wetland and save it from depletion. Sana Anutot for VOA News, Sauma, Ghana.